Downtown may be hard to come by, but as KMBC 9's Allen Show reports, there may be some options for late booking fans. Metro wide impact of almost 30% growth. Visit KC says KC is ready for visitors. We're going to see impact from Independence to Lawrence, from Kearney to Southern Johnson County. He says some hotels are prepping for groups of fans supporting one team, all trying to get into the same hotel. It's really interesting to see, you know, what the, what the layout of, of where the fans land and where they don't. Visit KC says rooms in the downtown area will be hard to come by, and he expects that trend to flow through Crown Center and to the plaza. We're going to step onto the world stage. Brian Johnson with the Lowe's Hotel in downtown agrees. He expects a complete sellout that week. The economic impact significant and you know we're happy to be a part of that. Brian says for hotels like Lowe's that week is about more than just the NFL draft. He says it's about what the draft will bring in future business. In that type of experience it's important we put our best foot forward and really uh, ensure everybody has a, an exceptional time because you never know when somebody's going to book because of their time here during the draft. That's something Visit KC says Kansas City will be ready for with as many as 400,000 people expected and whoever else wants to make their way to town. It'll be really interesting to see when that five to ten day weather forecast comes out. How many fans make that decision to to jump in the car and drive to Kansas City? In downtown Allen Show, KBC Nine News. Oh boy, Visit KC says if you're coming to Kansas City or have friends or family coming, don't get discouraged. There will be rooms available. And that last line, not that not that Busby's worried or or, or anything, or uh, you know, uh, it, it's going to be a big deal. Uh, they may have to stay though a little bit farther out into surrounding areas.